Every time I post a new mobile video on this channel, I get asked the same question. What do you think is the best mobile MMORPG, or heck, even mobile game right now? Going back to when I first made the channel a few months ago, I see hundreds, literally hundreds of people asking that very same question. Now, don't get me wrong, I am all for that. I am more than happy to answer as often as I can but I felt like maybe I should go ahead and do a video detailing it instead. That way, should anyone message me or leave a comment asking, hey, what mobile game should I be playing? Then I can merely forward them this link in hopes that it'll help them out. Do note that this is a personal list. I have not tried all that many mobile games in the last several months, 20, maybe 30. So these are going to be based off of that. Although every game that I have tried thus far has been very, very heavily requested by you guys. So yeah, I'll post another more updated list at the end of this year and even next year as well, and maybe break it down more into subgenres of games. But at least for right now, this very moment, welcome to my list of the best mobile games of 2019. You cannot have a list of any kind pertaining to mobile games and not include Honkai Impact 3rd. It's just, it's not possible. It is one of the best animated, most highly engrossing games on mobile devices and I cannot get enough of it. Its graphical quality could rival a PC MMO, its combat could rival even non-mobile games. I dare say, right now in the West, it has one of the most fluid forms of play of any game I have played. On mobile devices, of course. Then the game itself is heavily driven by plot. And yes, I do mean that kind of plot as well. Plot is an abundance everywhere I go, everywhere I look, both character related plot and story related plot. In all seriousness though, this is by far the best game I have ever played on a mobile device. I would pretty much recommend it to anyone. This has to be included. Rangers of Oblivion is an MMORPG that plays like a Monster Hunter game. You have a hub, you take quests from the hub, and then you go out into instant stuff zones to complete them. Character creation is probably one of the best I've seen in a mobile MMO. I've seen maybe two other games, I guess, with comparable quality creators, one of which I will list later on. But the sheer amount of customization left me almost jealous that most PC MMOs don't have nearly as good creators. And this game is fully voiced. For a mobile MMO, granted the uh, <laughs> uh, the voice acting is a little cringe, but then again, so are most Asian ports of PC MMOs. Combat was pretty good though, nothing exceptional. I did find myself awkwardly dodging and failing to aim my magics half the time, but I had a lot of fun in it. I couldn't not include this, it was our most requested game up until... Like, I guess the time I finally did a video on it, and I can understand why. I mentioned Honkai Impact being one of the best looking mobile games, and so was this. You cannot look at gameplay from Epic 7, or even the character models, and say that this is anything other than beautiful. Granted, there is no character creation that I'm aware of. It is a waifu collector that has you go out and unlock tons of super adorable females to send out to battle. Males too, but I mean... Most people don't care about that. Combat, unlike Rangers of Oblivion and Honkai Impact, is not action, but turn-based, rather, which is a very interesting difference. You cannot play this, though, without looking at it in awe. It truly is that good looking. Another one I had to include because it's possibly the most accurate interpretation of the sword art anime I have seen on mobile devices. The character creator is fantastic, not as detailed as some of the other games here, but not disappointing at all. Combat was a hybrid of tab target and action while the game itself was completely open world. Well, I mean, completely open world is a bit of a stretch. It's it's kind of open world. You weren't like stuck in a quest hub taking missions. Instead, you took quests, you went out to a large variety of zones, and you completed them just like in any other MMO. Zones, again, inspired by the anime. This has led to some people calling it uninspired or basic, but honestly, that makes it better for me. A traditional MMORPG on mobile devices? Yes, please. I mean, I have MMO channels. How could I not give credit for a basic non-mobile MMO on mobile devices? Successor to the popular PC game with the same title. Uh, minus the M. Dragon Nest M deserves a spot here purely because of how fun it is. Graphically, it isn't anything special. Looks about as good as its PC counterpart did, maybe a little more HD, honestly. Combat was auto lock-on, which was a little disappointing though. Also, the lack of character customization was a bit of a downer for me. And the voice acting? <laughs> Oh boy. If you have yet to, then I recommend just going and checking out my video if only to see how the voice acting is. It is 
perfect. But where this game shines is that its autoplay features are pretty much non-existent at later levels. A mobile MMORPG with no use of autoplay? Hell yes. Everyone that has dabbled in the MMO genre over the years knows all about Ragnarok Online. Ragnarok M Eternal Love? That's the mobile version of Ragnarok Online, but a better looking version, much better. Crisp HD graphics and a brand new take on the franchise. Eternal Love has pretty decent character customization. It also makes use of attribute points, which allows for a lot of actual character customization. I've noticed that this is something sorely missing from MMOs on mobile devices, and the combat, the combat is very reminiscent of old school Ragnarok, which I guess is pretty cool for me. I loved Ragnarok Online. There's also an auto combat feature, but it seems, I guess, more useful for AFK grinding when you're busy as there is a limit on how much you can actually grind before you can no longer gain XP. All in all, pretty traditional mobile MMO. Could definitely recommend and I definitely enjoyed myself. I believe this was actually the very first mobile game I ever played, and boy was it difficult. I didn't fully grasp the controls, the whole waifu collector aspect of the game was so foreign to me and the combat system took a lot of getting used to, but after that, it probably became one of my favorite games. You can't autoplay this, which admittedly may be part of the reason that I enjoyed so much, but the combat, which requires you be aware of what's actually going on, and the graphical style are some of the cutest I have seen. Your waifus look fantastic, and the loading screens... <laughs> Holy, don't even get me started on those. Like most games of its kind, you operate out of a menu, and that has you deploy your waifus on missions to progress the story. Outside of that, the main goal of the game is to build the largest harem you can. Awesome! One of the three best character creators I have ever seen in a mobile game. Yes, this game has it. Dawn of Isles. Man, what an exciting game this was. I played it before it launched, and it was one of the most fun experiences I had had on a mobile device. Extensive customization, survival aspects that required you craft equipment like axes, picks, and other items, food, and more. You went out, you chopped down trees, you harvested resources, you did combat with monsters, you level up, you geared up, and you progressed like you would through any other MMO. But, well, I've never really seen the survival genre blended with the MMO genre before. Combat was pretty good and a lot of fun, although you did require a target to actively fight things. So no, the combat was not action, but it is probably one of the best mobile games I've ever played. Everything just felt so high quality and everything just melded together so perfectly. I really couldn't have hoped for it to have been any better. And uh, here we have it, the final game on this list. And also the other mobile game with comparatively good customization to Rangers of Oblivion and Dawn of Isles. Alchemia Story is an MMORPG that my wife Mrs. Styx plays with me, and my sister Wiggy plays with her Asian boy toy. It offers one of the largest, most expansive game worlds I have ever seen in a mobile game and surprisingly, old JRPG styled combat that takes you into a separate loading screen for every encounter. This makes the game feel very much like an old JRPG with modernized graphics, which is very cool as I, to this day, am still a huge fan of old school JRPGs. There is no singular quest hub that you take quests from and there is no small instant stuff zone that you run around in. It's a completely full PC MMO on mobile. And uh... And that about does this list. I've enjoyed myself on this channel thus far. I've covered plenty of games over the last few months and I'm excited to cover more. There have been some terrible games I have done videos on and I will admit that there are some pretty damn good ones as well. Hopefully then this video helps you decide on a few different mobile games to play. I am aware that it's difficult to find one that you can sit down and enjoy. They're either dated, they're pay to win, or they just generally end up being garbage. Just like PC MMOs, actually. But there are some good ones out there, just don't give up yet. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!